Hey, so it's Alex here and it's been a few days since I got back to Vietnam from my trip back to South Africa. So I'm like getting back into things here, getting into the flow of working again. And I've just hung out with some of our students this month on their TESOL course. They just started on Monday. So on Saturday we had a little meetup, walked around the city a bit, met everyone. And then on Sunday evening, we had the welcoming evening for the TESOL course. <laughs> What is it? What is it? Oh, is it your pet? Is it your pet? So how's it going, bros? Yeah, it's good, man. Lost like two games, but it's alright. Two games? Damn. Yeah, no, I suck your pool. But uh, how's it been meeting yeah. everybody and uh, seeing everyone oh, on the no, it's phenomenal. I mean, the ninja teacher experience just brings it together with so many different nations. I mean, besides playing pool, I mean, the experience in Vietnam and the Govap district is just phenomenal and immersive. How's it going, Alex? It's going really well, thank you. How are you? Good name, by the way. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's easy to keep track. <laughs> yeah. And how are you finding meeting everyone in the course? Dude, it's so awesome. Like, everyone is so cool. I love everybody here. Oh my god. <laughs> Apparently, it's like an American thing to say, oh my god, over and over. And then, yeah, the last few days, just been catching up on the emails, getting back into gym. I got a little kale and apple juice here which is pretty good and got my laps up here getting a bit of work done so i'm gonna head off for lunch in a little bit grab some vietnamese food and then carry on with the rest of the day so we just had some lunch here got some buncha and i'm here with some former Tesla course students who are now teaching, so how are things going? Uh, it's going really well in District 1, um, about 10 hours a week and I've been working for two weeks now I think and I really love it, it's, it's been really amazing. And how are you two finding it? Um, yeah, really good, two weeks as well, um, the facilities are awesome, the kids are awesome, it's been a really good time. It's been great, we finished the course a month ago. Just got settled in a six month lease out in Funyan district. We love it. Four bedroom apartment. Three bedroom. Three bedroom. It's a cool, cool local neighborhood. It's an awesome place. Nice. We're in Funang district, district now, and um, this is like a little street. It's got a bunch of different restaurants along it, and it's really nice. So, yeah. Thanks for sharing, guys. Yeah. There's the aftermath. <laughs> the bunch of should have got some footage of that before we destroyed it. <laughs> so I'm back in my apartment now, here on my balcony looking out over the city. That's District 1 in the background there. You can see Batexco Tower and the other big buildings out there. It's only about 15 minutes to get out there. So that was a nice day to see a couple of students and it's been a fun week. So it's been really nice to get back into things here in Ho Chi Minh City. I like having my independence, got my apartment here where I can do what I want, when I want, other than work. But it's nice to have that after staying with family, you know, you have to kind of see what everyone wants to do all the time. And I really like living abroad, particularly of course living by myself and I've got a roommate but just living in a space and a city that you can have a lot of freedom you know I really like that about living abroad one quick thing I wanted to tell you about someone I know got into a motorbike accident recently and the traffic here you know it is quite intense it's very busy there's lots of people on the roads if you're planning to come out here and ride a motorbike, I highly recommend getting travel insurance or international health insurance, preferably that covers you at all the private hospitals in case anything like that happens. Uh, he is okay, by the way, but you know, it's something that you gotta be aware of is you wanna take your health and safety seriously. Also, you can get a local Vietnamese motorbike license. You just do a road test you pay the fee and you can get a local license that's also of course a good thing to do so that you're riding legally and that you're covered by health insurance when you're out here so yeah just a quick heads up on that you know I want to just be real about certain things and one of those is that you should just um, you know be aware that that stuff can happen 
if you're planning to ride motorbikes. Otherwise, using Uber, taxis, or Grab is also an option, especially if you live near where you work, that's a very viable option. Anyway, that's all for this video. I'm gonna sign out here. I'm gonna be heading out tomorrow to do some go-karting in District 7. Just something different for a ninja teacher meetup. It should be fun, so I'm probably gonna make a video about that, so stay tuned for it. So if this is the first video you're watching on this channel, make sure to subscribe to get more videos about life and teaching English abroad in Asia. And I'll speak to you soon in a new video, very soon. Peace out.